Hello everybody and welcome back to the Gaming Droid and welcome back to Free Trial Droid. In this we're going to be looking at... Um, <laughs> we're going to be looking at Crush Crush, which is a game by Sad Panda Studios. It falls under the casual idle indie clicker game and it is a dating game which contains anime nudes. <laughs> I will not be showing those on YouTube. Okay, this, this game gets my despair a little bit above normal clickers. Normal clickers are sad and despairable things. Um, I am addicted to one. They work off the principle of um, the Skinner box and psychological addiction to, to uh, growing numbers, basically. And this one is just the same, but it adds in the, the despairability that you can go to the memory album and you can see photographs of the different girls that you have unlocked by doing things. So, there's a kind of pseudo storyline going on, um, but as you can see I can flirt, which gets me hearts, uh, I can give gifts, which is a requirement to get into the next level of the relationship, so I can give her a donut, I can't afford a donut at the moment actually, and we can go on moonlight strolls. So I need to go and get some time, so what I do is I take a shift off my fast food job, and I use that time to go on a date, and we go on a date together. Legitimately, this is this is how the game works. <laughs> I, re I really don't know what to say, guys. And, and there we go. We, we've completed a date. It's given me some hearts and it started to fulfill this requirement. And each time I fulfill all these requirements, we go up to the next stage of the relationship. See, the relationship is divided up into stages. Once I get to the top of the relationship, I then get the nudes. I've intentionally reset the game um, completely from the from scratch so that I don't have those nudes in my memory album so I can show you my memory album. <laughs> um, I played a few hours of this to just to, to get things set and figure out like where things were and what was going on. So just like all of these games there is a system whereby resetting the game gives you a benefit or an advantage. In this case they have the prestige system and the prestige system gives you bonuses based, up, based on um, what you've done in the game so far. So the more relationships you get into, the higher the bonus gets. So are there any relationships that I could get into quite easily? This one. So I need to get, uh, need to get my funny up to level 6. And this is how I up my, my different stats, is I invest time into them. And you can see I have time up here in the top. And the more time I invest into these things, the better my stats become. The jobs gain me money. The longer I spend doing any particular job, the uh, more I get promoted, the more money I earn get enough stats and unlock other jobs. All the way up to being a astronaut, a wizard, or a space or a love doctor. Clicker games, they have to have things for you to reach for. There's sets of achievements. I like how the achievements are laid out in that there's an achievement for each level of relationship for each character, but rather than just having a massive list of achievements or having them divided up, they've actually got um, scroll tabs, which is quite good. Um, and you see, play for I've played probably about 45 minutes. Um, the cash is gems. You get gems for completing achievements and you can also spend gems to unlock additional time blocks to increase the speed boost. Um, so that will speed up all progress by times two. And that's literally just like getting an extra um, times an extra two on your uh, prestige. Skip a reset allows you to gain the reset bonus without actually resetting and just time skips as well. And the diamonds cost, as you can see, one dollar for ten, um, five dollars for fifty-five, all the way up to a hundred dollars. It's a bit silly that they can charge you a hundred dollars, but a hundred dollars is for enough to get ten, 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 eleven, sixty-four times speed boost, which would significantly increase your game speed, of course. Um, I'm just going to use a clicker just to get through this, um, an automatic clicking program. Uh, I think I use OP Click if anyone's interested in this. And yes, it's cheating. It's a single player game, I don't care. And there we go, and you see... This has given me a, a little kind of mini bit of storyline, a diamond for getting to the next stage, and one more bar of time. And then it unlocks the next things I have to do. Now if I reset, I'll show you the... There you go, that's my reset, so I'll have gained probably another times one for that. So here we go. And I have a bit more time unlocked because of the reset getting me to another um, level. So these are the little mini stories. One bright sunny day while riding your bike to the local grocery store to buy Pokey and Fountain Dew. A passing bird distracts you and... 
I run into Cassie. You crash into a girl and she's taken away in an ambulance. And here she is, all wrapped up in bandages. And basically, there's a little fairy that gives you advice and she suggests that maybe you should pay this girl's um, medical bills to atone for what you have done. So you can go and apologise by clicking the atone button. And this becomes chat and flirt later on. You can also click her. And as you get up in money, so you can see that this is now travelling faster because my prestige boost is higher. As this goes up, and this goes up, so once you get to the maximum, they'll actually tell you off for poking them all. But once I get up to 100 coin, which shouldn't take long, it will unlock the next level of the relationship. So we get another chat, she changes, and what she wants changes. So now she wants me to be suave, and she wants me to have a certain amount of money, and she wants me to have a certain amount of hearts. So, auto clicker to cheat my way up to the maximum amount of hearts nice and quickly. And this is this is the way the game runs, and you get further along in your relationships. Some of the girl stories are interesting to say the least. So now let's throw in a few more hobbies because I'm trying to get my stats up so I can unlock some other girls, and we can show you a couple more girl stories, and also unlock some additional jobs. So you see I've been promoted up to a bun toaster so I've got a two dollar raise um, in another so it's two seconds per tick now so in another what hundred seconds I will get on to the next level of this and get another two dollars. I don't have enough time to start another job I could switch over onto the restaurateur job but at the moment I'll just tick away at that. Grab a few uh, parts while I'm waiting. I need tech savvy and buff up. Am I learning tech savvy? No, I'm learning funny. Tech savvy! And this is this is very much more an idle game than a clicker game. You do actually very, very slowly gain affection with people. So now we have Mio. Mio's story is one day while wandering around the local arcade, you start playing a weird looking retro game, not entirely understanding how it works. You start mashing and. New high school! And this, this is the little pop-up to tell you you've met a new person. Does not want. It appears you got the high score and destroyed that girl's hard work and dedication. Better try to make her feel better. This is ice, this ice cream. It does nothing for me pain. Okay, so I have the suave already. So I can just knock myself up to the next level with her straight away. And the next thing she wants is motivation. Motivation you get through protesting, which is odd. But literally this is how the game goes. You wrong each of these girls and then you basically convince them by pestering them, um, making yourself into the kind of guy they want to date, and also by showing them you have money <laughs> and giving them gifts. Convince them to send you nudes, I suppose. <laughs> And that's literally how the game works. I I, I despair at this game thoroughly. <laughs> so this wants me to work in a restaurant, so I'll pop over to the restaurant job. And it also wants me to buy her a rose. I need um, a little bit more money before I can buy a rose. I can see how this without an auto click would take a lot of time. Uh, there are stats for these girls. Uh, you can see she's age 19, that's her birthday, basketball. Blood type, lifeguard, spaghetti is her favourite food. Um, she has a preference for flowers and her liked trait buff, which means that if you have enough points of buff, then you actually gain multiple hearts. So you see, I'm getting three hearts a click now. And I'm getting three hearts a click because I have buff up to six. And she also likes roses. So if I give her a rose, that gives me a little boost. It knocks me down under $750, gold, uh, $750, but that's fine, I'll get up to $750 reasonably quickly. And you can see how the game works. Given enough time and enough patience, you unlock nude pictures of all the different girls. So this is the next girl. Uh, one day while sticking it to the man, the cop show up to break up your protest. While looting capture, you dash down an alley and break a cardboard box. And in the cardboard box is, oh dear, you've crushed my house, I'm sorry, what did I do to deserve this? 
and this is the Nikomimi. This is the Goth Lita Nikomimi. Looks very much like a character from Darker Than Black, the anime. Um, just without the cat ears in Darker Than Black. So the so you can see that we've got like the slightly aggressive girl um, who's agreed to go on the neck to friend zone me, so I've got the picture from her. Then you've got the kind of sad gamer girl. Then you've got the Nico Mimi. And it just goes down like this. They're all anime tropes. They all have stat pages. They all have wants and likes. And it's just... I, I, I don't know how, how to not despair at this game so much. It's, it's an absolutely awful game. But if you are the kind of person who wants to see anime nudes of a collection of anime characters and you want to put in work to do it rather than just googling, then this is a way to play a game that gives you anime nudes. I, ca I don't know what to say guys, this has been the free trial droid, this is a free to play game, it was on the top of one of the most popular new release lists for free to play games and Crush Crush by Sad Panda Studios, thanks for watching, I will see you guys next time.